Hello everybody! In this video I'm going to tell you how to make your smartphone battery last longer. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. If you noticed that your phone battery runs down too quickly, check the statistics to see what apps consume more energy than others. To do it, go to Settings, Battery and Performance, Battery Usage to see how much energy every application takes from the battery. If you use some of them not too often, you can remove them from the auto start list or delete. To remove an app from the list, open Security, Manage Apps, Permissions, Auto Start, and disable the ones which you think should not start automatically. And I'm sure you know how to remove apps from your smartphone. The brightness level set at 100% will make your battery run down very quickly, and if you set it at 50%, you will reduce the energy consumption twice. Also, if you use the automatic brightness adjustment, it's better to disable it, because the sensor doesn't always work properly, but it's constant work, it's up a share of your battery life, so just disable this function in your screen settings. Set the brightness to the level when you find it comfortable for everyday use. Reduce active screen time. Open the lock screen and password settings. And in the sleep section, set the minimal option 15 or 30 seconds. In this case, the phone will switch to sleep mode quicker if the screen is inactive. If you often forget to lock the device, adjusting this setting will help you save some energy. Disable vibration on tap. As for me, this is a useless function, but it affects the battery life considerably. In the settings, find sound and vibration and disable vibration. If you often receive calls and can afford to leave them without answer, disable vibration for calls if you can do without it. It's only for the benefit of your battery life. Turn off Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, mobile internet and GPS when you are not using them. If you are in a place without network coverage, enable airplane mode. Using the pull-down bar, you can quickly turn these functions on or off. In Wi-Fi settings, disable scanning always available if you have such function in your phone. Even with Wi-Fi disconnected, it makes your phone scan for available networks and waste your battery life. To disconnect Wi-Fi automatically, there is a special app where you can set the time when you want it disconnected, for example, when you go to sleep or travel to work or to school. GPS, that is geolocation, can also eat up your battery resource. Always having to determine location takes up enormous resources from both your processor and battery. This function is used by many apps such as Navigator, Maps, Social Media and even cameras. For example, cameras use it to find out where a photo or video was taken. The GPS app needs energy to connect not only to your telecommunications provider, but also to several satellites at the same time. Keeping GPS on all the time prevents the smartphone from going to the sleep mode and affects the battery life considerably. You can disable it in location settings or here with a pull-down bar. When you don't use the Internet actively, switch the network type from 3G and 4G to 2G. 4G needs more power and accordingly it drains your battery faster. Go to SIM cards and mobile networks, choose preferred network type and opt for 2G only. It says this mode will save more energy. It makes sense to disable Google Now. It uses geolocation regularly and goes online even in the background mode when your phone is locked. If you do need this function, at least disable OK Google Detection because this option <coughs> keeps the micro microphone model awake and again it wastes your battery life pretty much. 
go to Google Settings, Voice, Voice Match and disable Google Assistant. If your smartphone has more than 3 GB of system memory, don't close the apps, at least those you use from time to time during the day. Starting them again will take up more energy than they would consume if they kept on working in the background. I also recommend looking for the programs you don't use. I'm sure everyone has a few apps like that, and just removing them. Don't use various boosters or task killers. They used to be a must-have for Android versions like 2, 3 and 4.3 when the operating system could not close apps and they kept working in the background, eating up the battery life. Modern versions of Android don't need it anymore and close unnecessary apps when there is little system memory left. So, task killers will just close the processes which start again and again and it will discharge the battery rather than save its energy. In addition, such utilities tend to show you tons of advertising. The best solution is to use Greenify. This tool is more aggressive in putting background processes to hibernation, and it uses Google Do's algorithms, which have nothing in common with task killers. You can select all the apps you don't need to run in the background. After installing and starting this tool, change some settings. Specify if you have root rights. If you use Smart Hibernation. If you don't have root rights, allow it to control other apps. Then select apps by tapping the plus button. A window will open to show you the apps running in the background and the apps that can slow down the device when certain events happen. Select the ones you want to switch to hibernation. If you select an app that helps you exchange messages, you will not receive any. So, think twice before choosing. Look at the description to find the links to all apps mentioned in this video. And the last, avoid using your phone at extremely low or high temperatures. In such conditions, the battery runs down several times faster. And that is all for now. Post a comment to let us know what other tricks you know. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!